And our next guest needs no introduction. Mike Wins here with the Sin Law Authors Club. Mike, welcome to the show. Always a great pleasure to be on the program. It's, uh, it's, it's a great help to the community. Absolutely. Tomorrow night is a big meeting for the Central Louisiana Authors Club, It'll, which will be held, of course, at Westside Regional Library at 6 p.m. tomorrow night, Thursday night. We have a great speaker who's making one appearance in Central Louisiana. His name is Jack Townsend. Jack is, is sort of like known around the world on the Internet regarding his uh, special comedy horror uh, books called Tales from the Gas Station. You, you have to read it to appreciate it. They're remarkable books. And he's making his one appearance on the show uh, tomorrow uh, on, the, on the club for tomorrow night. Um, I, everybody can come. And there's no charge to, uh, to, uh, to come to the meeting. There's no membership fee or anything. We have door prizes. And we just have lots and lots of fun. What is Jack's message going to be tomorrow night? Jack's going to talk about how to better write, better publish, and better promote your books. Now, you don't have to be an author or even a prospective author to come on tomorrow night. I mean, to come to the meeting tomorrow night. Uh, Everybody's invited, but he's going to have some great tips on how to better promote your books on the internet and, quite frankly, be a great successful author like he is. Uh, I also wanted to talk about the uh, Rapids Parish book sale, which starts next week. It'll be on Thursday, August 1st, from 9 to 6, the normal library hours, Friday, August 2nd, from 9 uh, to 6 and Saturday from 9 to 1. Um, we have an amazing uh, amount of books and an amazing variety of books everywhere from children's books to uh, cookbooks to history books to fiction books. I, I looked through some of the books and I'm just gr greatly amazed. Everybody can on Thursday and Friday can buy the books, buy the bag, $10 a bag. Every book you can stick into that bag is fine. I think one guy with, with some very thin books, he was able to stick in 50 books. Come on. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, and some people have found some very valuable treasures. Also, there will be antique and collectible appraising all three days for a $3 donation. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. We've been inundated with phone calls, and um, it's going to be a great book sale. So if you want to get a great book, next Thursday, August 1st, 9 a.m. at the main library. Yes, sir. And what prompted this, Mike? We've been actually doing this for 35 years. Uh, people, not every book that gets donated to the library um, goes on the stacks. And this raises uh, money for programs that are very much needed in the community that the uh, police jury uh, can't necessarily pay for. Uh, programs for seniors, programs for children, and this is a very important fundraiser for the uh, literary community, children, seniors, everybody. So come and buy a book and you're helping the library and helping the community. Absolutely, and who's invited? Everybody. <laughs> And your brother and sister. <laughs> Bring everybody, right? Yes. And the same thing for the Authors Club tomorrow night, Thursday night, 6 p.m., uh, Westside Regional Library in Provine Place, right off 28. Be there or be square. Yes, sir. And we got about a minute left, but oh. Mike, you always got something up your sleeve. I'm going to kind of put you on the spot. What else is happening around Sydney well, in Mike Wynn's world? <laughs> okay. I am starting next month. I have a series of articles for Sin Law Focus magazine on the early history of LSU, stuff that has never been looked into before, which is quite frankly amazing. Uh, there was a famous William Tecumseh Sherman painting that was stolen. The true story behind that. Uh, the following month will be on the cornerstone of the seminary building in Tioga. Um, and also, and other stories. Uh, plus, I've been working very quietly on a book for the past two years on Alexander Fulton, the supposed founder of Alexandria. He is not as good as some people think he I've is. Heard. It's going to be a blockbuster book. <laughs> All right, Mike. Well, I want to thank you, Mike, for being on the show. Were you done? I didn't cut you off, did no, I? No, you didn't cut me off. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks. You You're all, we're always a little smarter when you leave. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Ben. Absolutely. And we'll be back right after this.